1897, the club was in very bad position. They owed a lot of money through litigation. One fellow who'd been beaten in the gift and thought he should have won, and he took the club to court, and uh, the club won, but the, uh, it nearly cost the club, uh, or cost the club a lot financially. And when uh, Tommy Robinson was president, he was a man who saved the club, and one of the things, the main thing to save the club was they moved the store gift to Central Park in 1897. That's where it's been ever since. Well, it became Central Park because even though the township as such moved to the reefs because of the deep mining, the older part of the town and the administrative part of the town was in what was formerly Pleasant Creek. And this arena was a central place for both communities and it was the first selected block of land in Storm and it was selected by the Cricket Club. This oval was developed so that the two communities could work together, which they did. The grandstand that we see now, uh, num the number one grandstand, which has been refurbished and restored, but it was brought here on a bullock wagon. In those days, as communities shifted because of the gold fields, buildings were transferred everywhere by bullock wagons. There's been a couple of different changes along the way um, before it's the track that it is now. In between being the 400 metre perimeter around the park and to what it is now, we had a lot of problems with the athletes running on after the 120 metres. They would run straight into a fence, which was only another 15 or 18 metres on from the finish. Because when we were running, we had to pull up, nearly jumping over the fence. So we actually built a, a runoff and that runoff went on for about another 15 metres and it made a reconfiguration of the oval and that runoff extended the oval itself but then it was seen by everybody on council and obviously the people that count, the sponsors, they wanted something a little bit better than a runoff because it sort of looked a bit, as you can imagine, an oval with a little jut that sticks out the end part. The parks and gardens people worked with it as much as they could. But when, it, when the whole oval was reconfigured and the 400 metre track, now I would imagine that it would be somewhere closer to 500 metres around it because the sides of the track are 15 to 20 metres in from the side fences. The grass here at Stall is immaculate. Well running on grass, it's, it's, it's all hard work. I've run amateurs a lot on on the tartan tracks early on in my career. Uh, there is a big difference. You know, on the grass you have to pull your body weight through a lot more. Running on tartan tracks you have that bounce on synthetic tracks. You have the bounce and you can get your knees up and you just spring back and forth. Grass is a bit slower than running on, on the track. With track it's quite firm and hard and you know where every step's going to be. On the grass it could be a little bit, little bit off step and it could be a little divot or anything like that. But on grass it's all pounding and it's, it's just hard work. Go! In my eyes, it's a different style of running opposed to you know running on a normal tartan track. You know, a lot of tartan track runners, you know, you run on top of the track, whereas obviously on the grass you need to pull your body weight through. So there is a big, there is a big difference between both of them. For the actual physical setup of the Easter weekend taking away a lot of the planning side of it. We kick off a few weeks beforehand. We have a couple of working bees just making sure that all of the equipment is still there. Um, anything that needs repainting, etc. The um, Northern Grampian Shire do a wonderful job in maintaining this venue. Setting up the gift track, the, uh, of course the, the Shire Council uh, prepared the track, the circular track and the gift track. But as far as laying all the lanes out and uh, all the marks and so forth, that's all done by the committee. And the start of the gift is on, I suppose, the western end of the oval and it runs then diagonally across the track towards the eastern end of the oval. And we're obliged to set out the gift track first to work in with our sponsors and the logos at the end of the track and that has on the odd occasion caused the odd problem. Then the one o'clock on Thursday, we take control of the ground.
from the Northern Grampianshire and all the line marking commences from there for us. They start doing that, uh, a little bit could be done on Wednesday, but Thursday's a, a reasonably big day when they try and get the, uh, the circular track done. Uh, and then, of course, all hands on deck on, on a good Friday morning when all the marks go in, the ropes go in, the finishing gates go up, uh, all the signs go around the fences, the tents are erected. It usually takes till halfway through the afternoon on Good Friday to complete it all and uh, we've got uh, 24 on the committee and all turn up and a few other good helpers from around the town who help us every year. It's a wonderful team effort and it's a huge job but uh, everybody knows what they're doing. They do the same jobs every year and the new people are brought in to various groups to, to, to learn how to do various tasks and that's how we set things up.